Hey everybody, it's Professor Powerline, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. <sighs> In the last episode, I had to summarize two episodes because I lost a bit of footage, and I apologize for that once again. In this episode, I freaking leveled up. <sighs> yeah, I went through the rest of this area and fought all the remaining enemies to get one final level. Only there were only a few around. It took me like three or four battles, but I got it. So, um, I leveled up badge points because I think this is the last upgrade for badge points, like, ever. And upon remembering this boss, I realized a really, really helpful badge that I could have gotten, um, well, I really couldn't have gotten without backtracking a little bit, but I really would be nice to have right about now, and I'll be sure to get it next chance I get. But anyway, um, a little bit of tragedy there, there. So, um, like I said... In the last episode, we completed the last of the puzzles in this area, so... Yeah, it's it's boss time. So let's take a moment and adjust our badges. Right, let's go to active badges. Um, Quake Hammer is going to be useless. Let's see here. Um, Zap Tap's useless. Refund and Ice Fire useless. And the sound effect badges get annoying after all. So we're going to take all those off. Give me just 10 FP to work with. Alright, now I want... Um, where is it? Here it is. I want the Defend Plus badge on this time because, well, just trust me, it's going to be nice to have. And see, increased defense, but, um, see, I have a decreased attack power and increased defense and vice versa. These two are so confusing to try and say without stuttering over yourself. So let's see. Increased attack power by one, decreased defense by one. No. Decreased attack power by one, increased defense power by one. I think I might actually do this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I know it's really hurtful to give up all your attack power, but I think I'm still going to do it. Spike shield, refund, I spy. None of those are really going to be useful. Um, dizzy attack. Huh. All right. Is there anything else I can put on? Or is putting on the defend plus a mistake. Let's see here. I think I'm also going to uh, equip. Um, Take away power jump and oh six FP? Nope, not doing that. And I'm going to put on charge smash. There we go. And no. No, 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 no. Let's do that. That way if extreme comes to that. I have a mega smash to do. Yeah, that makes sense. That's that's good, I think. Alright, so I highly recommend you save before the boss. Always a good idea. Got Kumbari out so we can tattle on it. Let's do this. Face down the boss of the Crystal Palace. Who comes to my palace? I love this guy. He looks a little bit generic, but still really sick. Mario, you finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First, I shall defeat you. Then I shall present Bowser with an Iced Mario gift. Wasting no time with dialogue, we get straight to the fight into one of my favorite battle themes. It's just plain awesome. All right, so, Crystal King. He's our final opponent for the Star Spirits. This is the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to take over the palace, but whatever. Max HP is 70, attack power is 6, defense power is 2. Oh my gosh. Blows out of the water anything we've faced so far. He'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. These power each four, so you can do a maximum of 12 damage with these bad boys. Yeah! And he can spawn new ones, so... Yeah, enjoy that one. In addition to that, he can also freeze you. And he can divide himself into multiple, um... People so, so that you can't... Put, so it's difficult to hurt him and you can potentially attack, um... And misfire. So, yeah. This guy is a pain! And I'm just gonna knock the crap out of him right off the bat with a power smash. In addition to that, his defense is um is two, so dang it. Well see that's why I raised my defense right there, because um those things can do a lot of damage to you. Alright, so let's see here. Um uh Kumbar is not gonna be any useful to me, so let's get to the power jump. There we go, do a nice five damage there. I lowered my attack power, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I think I can put up with it. And Kumbari is going to do virtually nothing. So I recommend Watt for this battle, I think. I'm going to turn it into my, the music of my headset a little bit. Because I love this battle theme. 
I never noticed how awesome it was till I to actually practice file this. Alright, so crystal bits. Let's see what these bad boys are. This is a crystal bit. Basically, crystal bits are just a piece of the Crystal King. He can develop them, or he can make, or make as many of them as he wants. Max HP is one. They don't do any damage except for when Crystal King spits them at you. But they do a lot of damage when he does that, so I recommend taking them out pretty quick. And as long as the Crystal King exists, he can keep spawning more of these things. So yeah, they're just plain annoying. Let's just knock that one out right now. It turned into a little rock. There we go. And he's going to spit them at me. There we go. Right, that defense thing is really pulling its weight. Just um, get back to jumping, I guess. There we go. A little happiness for my troubles. And now Goombara is going to be pretty useless here. So for this battle, I recommend Watt because she negates defensive powers or Lackeyster because of his ability to hit multiple enemies. I'm going to rough it out, I think, and go with um, Watt because that defensive power will just totally, totally nerf um, or just Wall Cooper's or Lackeyster's spiny search. Jeez, I can't talk at all. Alright, um, let's... I got that defense plus on. Let's just go to town on the Crystal King and try and bring him down as fast as we can. There we go. And let's shock him with good old Watt. And I love his crown. The little rubies in the crown are just such a nice touch. It's so cool looking. Dang it. It's hard to time that. I get the first one, but nothing after that. And I got more. I feel let's just pound this guy into next year, shall we? There we go. Okay, now sooner or later he's going to start throwing some more variety of attacks out there. So let's electro dash him. Maybe I should intentionally... Yep, there he goes. Is frozen attack. That normally does six damage, but basically it takes Mario out of the game for a little bit, so... Needless to say, pretty annoying, and it just leaves Watt to go to town on him for a little bit. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what makes this guy so ridiculously annoying to beat. Is he clones himself three times. Okay, let's see here. Apparently it's worth it. Uh, Boost Mario's attack for a short time. Let's go with this, I think. Okay, so... Dope. Close. Alright. There we go. And he can just spawn more HP. Of course. Of course he can do that. Yep, that's sweet. Alright, so let's use a shooting star on him, because that'll reveal the new one pretty quick. That's my first battle item. There go. And there he was, all the way in the back there. Okay, sweet. Happiness. Um, why would you be so kind? There we go. Had a girl. Now he's gonna... No, dang it, man! I've got my attack power up. Ah. Okay, take this. There we go. No, don't duplicate yourself. Okay, good. You just spawned 20 more HP. Wait, that's terrible. Why did I want him to do that? Okay, I have one more turn to attack him with, and I'm gonna hit my power smash of destiny. That's, that's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna break his. Oh, come on, dude. Really? You're gonna be like that? Ah, oh, you jerk of the world. Alright. And I wasted that whole three of. You're gonna die going to happen right now. You, sir, are going to die via artillery barrage from the sky of stars. Of course, it was the first one. That was my guess. Go figure. Alright, how much HP has he respawned so far? He's got quite a bit still, but I'm keeping it in check for the most part with Watt. But he takes four turns to undo the damage I do with Watt. Stop doing that! I had a little bit of a wisp right there. Uh, okay. More electrically charging. Ugh. Die. Nope. Don't you do it. Don't you spawn more HP. Don't you spawn more. Don't. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you not spawning more HP. Here, Mario pops out. There we go. He hasn't spawned any more of those little bit dudes in a while. Um, let's try the middle one, because he's been the other two so far. Nope. Alright, so we've eliminated the middle. Well, what was this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh. Okay. There's some random attack then, huh? Let's not waste any up here if we don't know who it is. What? Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, it was him. It just... 
because my attack sword and his defense is high, it didn't do anything. Okay, so my normal jump does nothing. That's good to know. All right. Really, dude? Come on. You got to be like that. All right, fine. Use my second in-battle item. Here we go for Shooting Star. I like how Shooting Star comes from the other side. Because actually, it's more conceivable that it's actually hitting him. And we've almost got this guy. Assuming he doesn't heal anymore, it's conceivable we could beat him here in a couple turns. There we go. Ten more HP. Alright. And he froze me again. What? You are carrying this team right now. Carrying it, I tell you. Alright, there we go. One more turn. Let's see. Starts flying and then duplicates himself. Okay, I I knew he started flying events, I just... Events? <laughs> Whatever. Let's go with this one. I forgot that he started flying, or rather I didn't forget, but I didn't hardly expect him to do it because he hadn't done it for so long. No, 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 dude, come on. Well, he did freeze me, so I guess I got that going for me. And let's just smash your face in. Nope, okay. Watts got this. Oh yeah, Watt's gonna do the final blow. Prepare to die. I'm making this little infant murder you. Ha ha ha! It's super effective. Ice beats electricity. 42 star points for the win. Holy crap! Oh no, the last star spirit, King Bowser. Forgive me. And he. Who dies like that? I don't know about you, but when I when someone dies, I've never seen him die in a somersault. I guess it is on top of the mountain, and we're talking about magic with Nirar, so... Hey, whatever. What, I think you should get it. After all, you work so hard for it. Don't be shy, just come on. Right. And Watt's not even in the cutscene. Jerkish. I think my one of my least favorites. Oh, maybe not, but still not one of the better ones. Anyway, end of chapter. Mario saved the last star spirit, Calamar, I think, from the Crystal Palace at the end of, at the edge of the world. Now, with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it's time for Mario's showdown with the evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod? Or will wishes for forever go ungranted? Well, maybe never know. At least not in this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're venturing beyond this little save screen here and seeing what happens. Alright, see y'all next time.